Good morning. Today's gospel is taken from the 13th chapter of Matthew, and I'm just going to read the last part um, for my reflection today. Jesus said, this is the parable of the sower and the seed. Jesus said, hear then the, pow the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the world, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word of God, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches ch chokes the word and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed hear bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. This is the gospel of the Lord. I don't think any of us uh, would deny that our world has many, many problems. We don't have to look too far, perhaps read in the newspaper or look at our social media accounts or just simply talk to our neighbor. And we know that there's poverty and hunger. There's word of war in our world. Locally, we might have discrimination or experience hatred the lack of peace, violence in our city, anger, one family member against another or neighbor against another, injustice, and you know, the list goes on. There's all kinds of problems in our world, but we are people of faith. And I believe that as people of faith, we are called to strive to be like that seed in today's parable that f falls on rich or good soil. And what does that mean? Well, Jesus is the word of God. And when Jesus takes root in our heart, then we as people of faith have kind of an obligation to be instruments in this world of the presence of God's kingdom. All of those things that I just listed are frankly things that are contrary to the presence of God among us. If God is present among us and people live according to God's will, then those kinds of things like poverty and discrimination, violence, etc., will go away. They won't be part of our, our experience in this world. We obviously have a lot of work to do. We hope that we are those people, like the good seed, who fall on the rich soil that is, we take root, and in taking root, we flourish and bear much fruit. What is that fruit? Well, that fruit is uh, living a life that participates in the inbreaking of God's kingdom among us. And if God's kingdom is present among us, then we become forces of good in the world. This is, I think, a fundamental message of the parable of the sower and the seed that we might reflect on today. And the question is, am I rooted in rich and good soil? And do I bear much fruit? Or do I somehow participate in all of those things that I have just mentioned? Jesus is the word of God. Jesus lives in our hearts. Jesus is present in our community. Jesus gives us all the grace we need to be instruments of God's love in this world. And this is what we're called to do. Today, as we gather on this uh, 15th Sunday and we celebrate our faith together as we um, um, remember that great sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross in giving his very life for us, we also remember that in that he promised to give us eternal life. He promised to give us the ability to conquer all sin and all death 
And these things that plague our world are exactly that, sin and death and uh, corruption, let's call it evil. But we as people of faith stand in opposition to that, not just opposition, but we are instruments of God's grace in this world if we have confidence that Jesus is the power behind us. Today, we gather around the table of the Lord and we receive the Eucharist, the very life of God. And we remember that as Jesus gave himself for us, in a way, he's like that seed scattered among the rich soil. And we are um, those seeds. We are participants in that same bountiful harvest if we have confidence. Let's encourage one another with this message of our faith. And as we receive Jesus in the most holy blessed sacrament today, and we leave this place, we go back into the ordinary everyday activities of our lives, let's remember that we have an obligation to stand in opposition of those things which are contrary to God's kingdom. In a way, we are the future. We promise that if we participate in God's life as we live in this world, that we will be part of that um, movement which abolishes poverty, hunger, wars, discrimination, hatred, the lack of peace, violence, anger, and any kind of injustice, and any other evil that might come our way. Let's encourage one another with this message of our faith, and let's be confident that we, as people of faith, are planted in rich and good soil, and that we will bear abundant fruit. Have a nice day, everybody, and God bless you.